Okay. Time to start your story quest. Please go. I'm excited to learn a bit more about her. Just because, I mean, I have her. So I'd like to learn more about her. So. Let's just see what's going on. Thank you for coming on such short notice, honorary knight. I know you must be busy. Well, to make a long story short, there's a particular matter at hand that the knights requires your assistance with. The knights are as busy as ever. <sighs> yes. It has been one thing after another recently. Neither myself nor any of the Mondstadt garrison are able to catch a moment of peace. I have recently received multiple reports from the Knights of someone within the Lawrence clan having close dealings with the Fatui. The Fatui, huh? The Fatui? Again? But who are the Lawrence clan? There was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The hard-won freedom that followed with the fall of Decarabian was lost once again, as slavery spread throughout the land. The first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa, spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old aristocratic system and established the Knights of Favonius, leading Mondstadt to become the city that you see today. The aristocrats that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt were none other than the Lawrence clan. Oh, Paimon gets it! So the clan's descendants are now scheming with the bad guys to carry out more dubious deeds! We suspect as much, though we have yet to obtain any solid evidence. The reason I summoned you here today is to ask you to help us further investigate this matter. But why us? <sighs> Unfortunately, the Knights of Favonius and the Aristocracy have been at odds with one another for as long as I can remember. We've already considered every possible way of resolving our differences, but it seems the descendants of the aristocracy remain antagonistic towards the knights. No matter what stance we take when dealing with them, the outcome is always the same. Our efforts only result in adding more fuel to the flames. We could come knocking on their door on the grounds of a search warrant, but if the investigation were to come up empty, I'm afraid tensions and distrust would only increase. All of our past efforts would have been wasted. I technically also belong to the Knights, don't I? You are in fact the best candidate to represent the Knights of Favonius. But you Am need I? not emphasize your role as the Honorary Knight. You are a traveler from a distant land, and you can approach the aristocrats in this way. Well, they be curious about ooh foreigner like that kind of thing once you come to friendly terms with the lawrence clan you should be in a good position to learn more of their possible connections with the fatui oh leave it to master team to come up with such a thorough plan <laughs> perhaps such plans have become second nature after all the diplomatic issues i've dealt with the name of the Lawrence clan member in question is Schubert. Schubert. Lately, he can often be found strolling near the northern city walls. Schubert. It is said that he is difficult to get along with due to his temperamental disposition, but if we approach him calmly, then things should go off without a hitch. I hope things will go soon. Thanks again for your help. If you run into any snags along the way, I'll do anything in my power to support you. You will, Jean. Thank you. Oh, here we go. You got any more to Schubert say? can be quite touchy, so it may not be easy to get along with him at first. Lovely. But as long as matters remain calm, then you should be <laughs> able to come to friendly terms with him. Uh, I'm a bit worried now. Paimon's gonna run her mouth and get us into trouble, isn't she? Oh dear. Well, let's just keep learning more about what's to come. Let's go. More speed. More speed indeed, you are. More speed. Ugh. Okay, where's this dude at? Where is he at? More speed. More speed. 
Except I have no more stamina. <laughs> Is it you? Are you Schubert? Hello. Huh? Who are you? Who are you? Hello! We're here too! Hello? Yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong? Did you just say what's wrong? <laughs> you getting mad. Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strut up here and greet me in such an ignoble and vulgar manner? Oh dear, dude. Given that I don't recognize you, I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. I'll have you know that you are speaking with THE Schubert Lawrence, a blood descendant of THE magnanimous nobility. Quite the hoity-toity dude, aren't we? If you wish to address me, you'd best consider your words more carefully. Such nonchalant manners are inadmissible and will never do. Hmm. Isn't your way of speaking to me and your tone quite rude to someone you've never met? You don't know what my background is. I could also be a noble. But you don't know that. Yet you're speaking this rudely to me upon first meeting too? Sure, dude. Either way, one would act in a way that is befitting of how one is receiving or mm, eh, you get the point now if you're somehow capable of understanding anything i've said then you will get down on your knees apologize for your negligent actions and give me a proper introduction that is the appropriate <laughs> etiquette you're calling me stupid now too wow That's etiquette Oh my god. Huh. In former times, when people knew their place and respected traditions, such conduct was only basic courtesy when greeting a nobleman. Oh god, I hate that line, know your place. But literally, what place is it? Like, who, who, who has the authority to even tell anyone to know their place? Because isn't it... Okay, I get why... Anyway, freedom. People have the freedom to to have whatever place they want, and it's not up to any one person to decide what that place is, unless it's themselves. And neglecting your manners would result in a swift whipping. Um, excuse me. I can beat you up anytime, sir. Step outside these walls, and we'll see who wins. Ugh. <sighs> Look at the world now. Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners forgotten. <laughs> I think you're the uh, one who doesn't have cannot manners, bear dude. to see such degradation. What did you say? <laughs> you dare question the dignity of the nobility? Yes. I'll have you know that though the Lawrence clan is in decline, myself and others of noble blood are looking for a chance to restore our rightful honor. You know, dude, pointing in people's faces is not particularly minding one's manners so you can keep your fingers to yourself please just look around the people are unruly and undisciplined i however strive are to retain sure the elegance and etiquette of the nobility are you sure After about that all, we are of a completely different breed <laughs> by birth I, I don't know just by looking at you you seem to be <laughs> quite rude so, um, maybe you might want to reconsider and reevaluate your elegance and etiquette. Save your words. I find your manners and bearing repulsive. Be right back I have nothing to discuss with the likes of you. <laughs> Besides, I am in no way obligated to instruct commoners on basic courtesies. Literally, how do you know if I'm a commoner or not? Like, who, who are you? to determine who is noble or not. Anyway. Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. <laughs> sure, Schubert. <laughs> I, could, I could say so many things about your name, but I, it definitely seems like you stepped in something with your shoe of a name. <laughs> 
make Master G Mimpai difficult to get along with. It's not. <sighs> Let's sit back and talk things over with her. It's not that. <laughs> He's just the one who really doesn't want to get along with anyone. He just doesn't take a liking to strangers or any of the like. Share your so, with the wind. if Barbados, anyone who regard as a noble who constantly belittle and disregard. So, eh. Anyway, people like him I don't really like because they just don't want to get along in the first place. Oh. Are we just gonna... Oh, are we gonna find Eula now? Oh, no, it's Amber. Well, if it isn't the honorary knight! I'm just on my way out to gather some intel. I didn't expect to run into you here. Sup, Amber. Huh? Judging by your expression, you must have run into some trouble. Yeah, some hoity-toity fella. Master Jean tasked us with a special assignment, but things seem to have run aground for the moment. It's a long story. No need to get down on yourself. Sometimes things just don't turn out as planned. Even I can't guarantee useful intel every time I'm dispatched. Amber, you're so great. I love you just you. have to keep at it and never give up. Thank you. That's Amber for you. <laughs> hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Some dude named Schubert. Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence. <laughs> but it turns out that he's a peculiar character that doesn't listen to anyone. Especially Paimon. Why would they want to listen to you, Paimon? What? Never mind. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, Schubert! I know him! Let me guess, he said you didn't have any manners. Seems like you're no stranger to his ranks. <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh, you mean everyone in the Lawrence clan is just a big headache? As aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. Uh, I understand their thinking, but that's just not how things are anymore. How long has it been since the aristocracy has been abolished? Because you'd expect that within, like, if it was a hundred years, it might... There might still be bad feelings. But if it was like a couple hundred? There'd be sure... There's sure to be a lot more than just like Eula who would find all of this I'm nobility nonsense to be quite tiresome. Well, then again, I really don't know the time period. I don't know the history of events that well. Anyway. However, there is one exception among the Lawrence clan. My good buddy, Eula. Yeah. Uh, buddy? That's right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also captain of the Knights of Favonia's fourth company. Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. Yep. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions of her family. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. Hmm, that's strange. If you is a member of the Lawrence clan, then why would Master Jean choose us for the task? That Couldn't she just ask Eula? Properly rendered in the background there, it's bothering me. Uh, stuff. well, it's a little complicated. Basically, the Lawrence clan has frowned upon the fact that Eula joined the Knights. Her family members don't particularly care for her. Oh, so both sides hate her. What a stressful life she lives. Oh dear. In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. Yep, she She's is. She's very easy to get along with. Just explain the situation, and I'm sure she'll help you come up with a way to get along with Schubert. Cool. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. You should be able to find her around Storm Bear Mountains. Cool, cool. Thanks, Amber. All right, you heard her. Let's go find Eula. Good yep. luck, you two. I've got my own matters to investigate. Good luck with that on your end. Bye-bye. Who would have guessed the Knights have a member of the Lawrence clan? 
Well, if you want to learn about the conduct of the Lawrence clan, who better to ask than one of their own family members? Yep. Anyway, let's go. All the way up there. Okay. Get a feeling there's going to be a lot of teleporting this uh, story quest. Okay. She's over here, huh? <laughs> Double Eula. Oh dear. Okay. The Fatui! What are they doing here? Is that why Eula was sent up a troll? Oh, hello? Uh, let's fight first and talk later! No, no punching, no punching. Ow. Okay. Shadow Raven, let night fall. Killjoy, I only just begun. Okay, 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 okay. What the fuck? Beg for mercy. Beg for mercy. Animal hypostasis emulation. Absorption test. By royal decree. By royal decree. This one's well done. Okay, did the other one, the geo one, go? Okay. The pain. Animal, that's not right. Ow. Oh dear. Oz, reveal thyself. Reveal thyself. Crush. Vengeance will be mine. Come on. Shudder. Come on. Okay, there we go. Huh? More? Oh god. Beg for mercy. No. 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 Incinerate! Okay. Shudder! Oh god. Beg for mercy. So pretty. <laughs> she's so cool. <laughs> Get it? She's cool. <laughs> Cause she's a cryo user. <laughs> you don't think twice before okay. reaching for your sword, do you? Do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? Hmm, a week. And now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? Uh, mark my words, <laughs> vengeance will be mine. Oh, she's so pretty. Uh, what? That's just her sense of humor, guys. That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could, only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them, too. <laughs> Thank you for praising us. If I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. <laughs> Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. I'm actually quite used to fighting them. Uh, huh? sorry, Pylon doesn't understand what you mean, but thanks for your concern. That's just her sense of humor, Paimon. Concern? Why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Funny joke, haha. -ha. Arch enemies? Wait a minute! You were saying how glad you were that we were unscathed a second ago! Again, that's her, just her sense of humor. By which I meant, if off. you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt. <laughs> okay. Which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter <laughs> still. You don't have to go to Mondstadt, it's okay, you can stay huh? here. So that's how you see all this? 
Yes, that's me. Sup? Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Uh, that's... Although at least we can communicate with her. That's rude to say to someone's face. Haven't you learned from the previous times that they can hear what you're saying when you say these things to me? You dare to call someone you've just exactly. met strange? Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even by normal standards. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to say. That's what I've been trying to teach her all this time. She still does it. She never learns. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? We're looking for you. This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude, we're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Lawrence. Paimon, you were the one being rude. Like, shh, shh, shh. Just let me handle all the talking. He's so obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand now. That's my uncle, all right. But why do you mean to investigate him? He could... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He may be secretly involved with the Fatui. I see. <laughs> you have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this, too. Okay, Eula. No, no, no! This is an assignment from Master Jean! It's just an investigation, that's all! To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hmm. That, that's true. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Oh, so that's what you think of me? Hm. Yet another transgression to avenge. <laughs> but, but, didn't you say it first? Oh. <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's been a while since I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. Why do you seem so happy about it? I assume it? you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? That is correct. That's right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. Aren't you flooding your revenge against we us? We can put that aside for now. Besides, if it's the acting Grandmaster's assignment, and Amber's the one who recommended me, I should comply. Uh, Hyman's confused. This girl's all vengeance this and revenge that. But she doesn't seem the least bit angry. Because she's not. She really isn't. Still, Hyman has met bigger weirdos before. Isn't that you, Paimon? My bad. Okay, anyway. More teleporting. <laughs> Down there? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> hey, 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 Eula. It's me, Eula. <laughs> ah, you finally arrived. There's no time to spare. So we'll begin with our first lesson. Okay. Wait, hold on. There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise, it'll keep bugging us. About all that vengeance stuff. So that's still on your mind, huh? Maybe you're the ones who can't let things go. <laughs> Don't worry. There's a time and place for exacting vengeance. Besides, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Best save it for later. She's not really gonna take any vengeance. It's okay. Uh, you need to be in the right mood for vengeance. <laughs> I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you. <laughs> well, if you have so much to take care of, wouldn't it just be easier to give us a clean slate? Absolutely not. Stealing my targets, calling me a ruthless ruler, and suspecting my uncle. All worthy of vengeance in my eyes. 
She's definitely counting. But you needn't worry, at least not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, a man of moral integrity fears no slanderous attack. If Uncle Schubert didn't commit any wrongdoing, then any such investigation will prove fruitless. But if he did commit a wrongful act, then he should bear the full punishment. I'm sure you understand. Yep. Good. Now, there are two key points that aristocrats attach great importance to. Your manner of speech, and your bearing. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very unique way of carrying conversation, even with mundane daily topics. Oh, Paimon's already learned some unique conversation. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! <laughs> what was that? Oh, God. <sighs> no. <laughs> Not even close. And besides, it sounds strange. <laughs> hey! Paimon learned it from you! And didn't you say not to call others strange? It seems you don't respect the rules of your own clan! Because she doesn't. No, I've no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formalities. Here, allow me to demonstrate. For example, when greeting a friend, you could say, As the morning dew greets the coming dawn, so do I greet you, my dear friend. Uh, as the morning dew does what now? However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party with whom you're speaking must be of approximately the same status as you. Morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value. Yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure like water. There's too much to think about. Oh, no, no, no. You must be prudent with your words. Calling someone a good friend could easily offend them. Uh, but didn't you just say my dear friend in your example? Hyman's yes, okay. I did. But you must know in the Lawrence family, dear friend is a set phrase that can only be used towards certain friends with whom one is acquainted, but not particularly close. It sounds much more pleasant to call an acquaintance a dear friend. So another thing to remember, aristocrats are concerned with face and being polite. Hang on a minute. If the Lawrence clan is so fond of sticking with nobility does that mean there was inbreeding Ooh. Ugh. gross however if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend the recipient would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them that's so complicated this is only the first step in making a greeting after addressing one another you then exchange courtesies wait, wait. i don't have to remember this all this do i Please tell me I don't. Um, perhaps it would be better if you gave some real life demonstrations. Ah. Very well. Come with me. We'll choose some bystanders to converse uh -oh. with. I'm a bit worried about how this is gonna turn out. May the god of Adam protect you. Hello, Norman. I've never seen you around, but hello. Oh! You love the Lawrence clan, right? This can't be good. <clears throat> you there, lowly laborer. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility... Uh... What comes next? Uh, oh, right. By solemnly kneeling to the ground with utmost sincerity. Huh? I can't make heads or tails of anything you're saying. <sighs> Hold on. What did they always teach me? Whenever a dispute arises, protection of your family's prestige and dignity always takes precedence. <sighs> Got it. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner, you shall maintain absolute reverence when speaking with those under which you so graciously toil. How dare you speak in such a manner? <laughs> Ugh, is everyone from the Lawrence clan so strange? The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do. Just beat it. Like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of the Lawrence clan. And here's a word of advice. 
I wouldn't be caught dead walking too closely with any one of their like in Mondstadt. Sad. If that's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself if we talk any longer. I'll give you a hug, you. Uh, hey, hey! Don't leave! Uh, halt! Uh, mark my words, vengeance will be mine! <laughs> oh my gosh, Eula. Wow, the Lauren's name really does carry a terrible reputation. I'm sorry. This is not a good time. I apologize. Never mind him. I could have predicted as much. Let's find someone else. I'm sorry, Gunny Main. I apologize. But I have things to do. Okay, this person's also gonna be like, get away from me. Who are you? I've literally never seen you before. <clears throat> you there, lowly toiler. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility, and solemnly kneel to the ground with utmost sincerity. <sighs> huh? Why don't you respond? According to the custom, I must wait until you kneel completely before I can say the next words. Okay, I think I get it. Ah, right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention to our difference in status. Oh dear. I've already stared at you for quite a while. <laughs> Fine. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little inconvenient. I shall continue. Oh, wait. I think there's a line for people with rude attitudes in this situation. <laughs> hey, stop bothering me or else I might say something you wouldn't like to hear. <laughs> okay. And again, I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Again? What's with this attitude? Maybe we should just stop for now. Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be good. Let's try to find someone else to no, talk to. No, no. Let's just stop completely. Hm. I'll remember your unwillingness to comply. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Do we have to do one more, really? I feel like it'd just be better if we stopped. Uh, it's getting sad to watch, really. You there, lowly worker. I. Uh oh, I don't like how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer's always the same. We've got nothing to say to the likes of you. I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Ah, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence carries to even to this very day. Uh, even to this day, the descendants of the Lawrence clan are still scheming to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristoc aristocratic rule. God, I can't read. And if that wasn't enough, here you are purposefully using your awkward way of speaking just to put on an act. Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? You have a point. But mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Yeah, because you're just completely ignoring the fact that she has been doing good for Mondstadt. I don't know. <laughs> Huh? You wanna fight? Listen here, I may be no match for you, but I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Knights of Favonius. Maybe everyone should just take a I'm step sorry, back. I'm sorry, but I want her to understand that I'm serious. And I want you to understand that I'm serious, dude. You really need to calm down. Like, please, please be quiet, dude. You need to, to literally just calm yourself down. And just leave her be. Listen here. If you don't want things to get more unpleasant, then you'd better just stop. Back at you, dude, please. Forget it. There's no point in quarreling any further. Let's go. Yeah, I protect you. <sighs> I protect it's you, right. Mila. This happens quite often. Let's find someone else to talk to. 
No, I think we should just stop. Uh, Hyman mean, thinks we've seen enough now. Let's just stop. Yeah, please. I, I don't want I don't want people to throw punches at you. Actually, Paimon thinks we should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. We had no idea the feelings between the Lawrence clan and the people of Mondstadt were so bitter. <laughs> what can we do? The Lawrence name is already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three-year-olds know the story. I see this kind of attitude all the time. I'm starting to sympathize with you. <sighs> Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, they're usually willing to speak a few words with me. Mm. I don't know about that, but anyway, moving on. Perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked them today. Believe me, it's not a big issue. It feels like one to me, so I'm, I'm gonna get upset for you. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. No, I mean... Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if I was in the middle of saying something, but let's just continue. That's the way things are. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. Accepting punishment is only fair, right? But when your family has committed atrocities, I'm afraid there's no easy path to reconciliation. Yeah, I get it. As memories are carried in the city breeze, the faults of such grievances are passed from one generation to the next. It is now my turn to bear this burden. But I guess it's not so easy for people to understand that children are not always the same as their family or their parents. And it's really up to a single person to really demonstrate how good they are. But when hostile feelings are still there towards a certain group of people, it's hard for people to really let their grievances, set their grievances aside, but... <laughs> but yeah, either way, I personally think that you should really judge a person for who they are, rather than what their background is. If a person in the moment is a good person, and they've put in the work to be a good person, and strive to do better, and are not lying about it, then I think, I think then, can you really say that they're good? I don't know. Anyway, just judge your person for who they are in the moment. And maybe help them to continue being a good person. Anyway, anyway. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. I have nothing to be discontented about. No. Yeah! Why were you so willing to try and demonstrate for us? Because she wants to help us. Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance either. <sighs> Let's leave it at that. Just think of it as something I like to do. But unfortunately, you probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Maybe we can ask Amber or Jean? Uh, no need! Besides, the Traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure! Paimon thinks we got the gist of it now! I don't know right? About that. Right? Hmm, I think we can. We'll just have to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting anyone else riled up. Well then, I'm glad you learned something. You're already halfway toward mastering aristocratic conduct. A proper manner of speech is more aesthetic than anything else. It stems from their taste for refinement. But we must also practice your bearing. How we conduct ourselves? I have a very effective way of training for this. Come with me to Dragonspine. You're not gonna drown me, are you? Okay, back on track. Dragon spine? Ugh. Drown me in a lake, I guess.
Mm okay. Where are we going? Where? Wait, where is she? Oh, there yeah. she. Oh, okay. Achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat. You must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite difficult to traverse. We're we gonna break it. But a well trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garment and their elegance fully intact. Oh no. Hyman thinks we've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Compared to what we've already seen, this should be a piece of cake. Are you sure about that? Paimon thinks so too, but you've got this in the bag. I am not so sure about that. <laughs> you look pretty confident this time. I'm not. All right, let's get started. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. Oh. Uh. 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 That what? won't do. Huh? You've exposed your shortcomings. What? No need to worry. Head back to the starting point and try again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. I I I don't like this. It'll be difficult at first, but the key is remember Okay, how can I just... How can I... How can I... How can I go about this? Okay. 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 <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Where are we going? Where am I going? Where... Where? Where? Huh? Huh? What is- what? Hello? Hello? Huh? Hello? More speed. Where? Hello? Why is it moving so erratically? Good that won't do. You've exposed your shortcomings. I'm so no need to worry. <laughs> Head back to the starting point and try again. I don't like this. Uh... It'll be difficult. Remember. Okay. I'm so lost. Okay. 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 Why am I taking this? Okay. Be patient, she says. Okay. Oh god. Oh no, it's actual archers this time. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Are we done? Are we done? <laughs> Not bad. A lot better than I had anticipated, at least. Are you sure? <laughs> I think I did terribly. Hyman almost didn't make it through. <sighs> Paimon, you can fly. You can fly, Paimon. Um, Aristocrats? <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. We've only just begun. Wait, wait, wait. Did Paimon just say aristocrats? Okay. <laughs> the scenario was relatively simple. In the face of a real battle, one would seldom have a chance to stop and evaluate the situation. Okay. There's a ley line monolith just up ahead that will attract nearby monsters. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. Is this how you normally train? My family set only the highest expectations for me, even as a child. Let's proceed, shall we? Oh boy. More speed. Oh no, more this fighting. This is the ley line monolith. Go ahead, activate it. Okay. Oh okay. But be careful not to get launched into the air or frozen while fighting. That would be most unsightly. Gotcha. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. More? 
You managed to remain calm even in these grueling dragon spine surroundings. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. I I think you were looking at two different people. Um, because clearly I was not calm. Given such an outstanding performance, it seems there is little left for me to teach you. <laughs> Please teach me more, Yula Sensei. Like Simon said, adventuring is our specialty. Uh, <laughs> so that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of Dragon Spine before Paimon turns into a popsicle! Popsicle? <gasps> Flashback to Chong Yun's, uh, little tiny story quest. Hold on. I was commending the Traveler's performance just now. <laughs> you, on the other hand, <laughs> seem to have made no progress at all. <laughs> uh, what? You mean Paimon was also part of the training? <laughs> yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Uh, hey! That's not true! Paimon was just focusing on you the whole time! But you were supposed to be training too, Paimon. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. <laughs> huh. Now, drink this. What am I drinking? Huh? What is it? Why would she poison me? Certainly not. It's warm oh, milk. Thank you. Didn't you just say that you were freezing? Drink it and it'll help warm you up. Mm, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? Yeah, just wait. If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance now, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, dear friend. Don't die on me out here. Uh, please, please use the other other one. Ah! Paimon knew something was off! All in the name of vengeance. No need to thank me. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time we return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. Okay. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. Oh no. I've read some of your your character story. I already know where this is going. Mm. Oh dear. Everyone, literally everyone in Mondstadt despises Eula, except for some of the Knights of Favonius. But um I think I think I'm ready to change my signature. Um Yeah, I think I'm ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't spell, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Sounds good. I'm not looking forward to this encounter. You know what? I might as well just show you. Okay, so there's a part in her character story quest that mentions. Oh, is she speaking? My bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's a part in her story quest that mentions. Ooh, I got character story one for her. <laughs> Excited. I can't wait to read that. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's a part in here that mentions that even when she goes... Wait, is it in here? Uh, is it? Or was it one of her voice lines? Uh, 
that. I think it might have been one of her voice lines, actually. Uh, the life of a Lawrence one? doesn't include ah, much yes, worth yes, talking yes. about. Good hunter Basically, and monster at general you goods say, wouldn't you take do. her money. People will always despise. Uh oh. So I'm I'm not looking forward to this. Did she have something to say? Ah, oh, Amber. 15, thank goodness. Sixteen. That's a nice haul. Oh, hey, Eula. I see you've met the honorary knight. Sup? We meet again, Amber. Seems we're just bad to run into you these days. Well, I just got back and was thinking about grabbing a bite at Good Hunter. But now that you're here, why don't we all eat together? Very well. It's been some time since we've last shared a meal together. Come, take a seat. We can discuss my uncle's gift while we eat. I'm scared. Yes? Is there something else you'd like to order? Could you please prepare a serving of my uncle's favorite, Gebrotinus Fleisch mit Sauerkraut? We'll take it as a gift to him later. Coming right up! <laughs> It'll take some time to prepare. I'll have it here at the counter once it's ready. Was there a discrepancy? I thought... Uh, hold on a moment. Is this satisfying salad also something that Amber ordered? No, she didn't order it. But because she didn't order any vegetables, I thought I'd throw in a salad on the house. You know, to contrast all the meat dishes. So, we clearly didn't order this. Yet you prepared it without authorization. <laughs> Mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Uh, you're gonna take revenge on her for giving us a free salad? You should know me by now. That's the kind of villainous character I am. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I thought that they would... Okay, maybe Sarah's different. Because Good Hunter is like a part of like a bigger restaurant. Okay, okay, maybe well, that's then... it. Please wait a moment while I get the dish for your uncle started. <laughs> Delicious unauthorized delicacies. Sarah will pay for this. <laughs> Why would you choose Gibraltinus Fleisch mit Sauerkraut as a gift for your uncle? Hyman's never even heard that dish before. This dish isn't actually on Good Hunter's menu. Only long-standing patrons such as my uncle would know about the dish. The old aristocrats seem to take a liking to it. Because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut, not too many people are fond of it these days. I guess it's become less popular over time. Yeah, sauerkraut is not really up to my personal preferences either, so I kind of get it. Eula treated me to the dish once, and I couldn't even finish a bite. I've nicknamed it Gebratenes Fleisch mit Vengeance ever since. Ugh. I never expected us to have such completely different tastes in food. If I weren't in such a good mood, I'd say that constitutes grounds for transgression. Of course not. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine when you're just joking between us, but I'm afraid our honorary knight might misunderstand you. Eula's always talking about vengeance, but that's just how she is. It's nothing you should take too seriously. But I am serious. And I'll remember every transgression committed against me. Ugh, it's no wonder so many people dislike you. Okay, that's kind of rude. Hyman's starting to realize that you is actually a very good person. There's no need to be so awkward when you want to say something nice. <sighs> Listen, you've never been labeled as a social pariah, have you? What? Uh, well, no? Hmm, Paimon. Don't look on the internet. <laughs> that's all I have to say to you. Don't look so on the internet. So that's why you wouldn't understand how hard it is for a bad person to try to be good. It's impossible for me, and I have no intention of acting like a good person. All right, no need to look so sullen. I'm just kidding. Come on, let's eat. The food is getting cold. Oh, I'm stuffed. I'll see Sarah about the bill. No need. I've left the mora under the plate. If you try to settle it with her in person, she won't accept payment for the salad. Don't underestimate my ability to exact revenge. <laughs> Sarah won't get the upper hand this time. 
Is that your means of revenge? Paying her back fully for the salad. Why is she so cute? Oh my gosh. All right. Next, you should pay my uncle a visit. He has a small camp at the top of the mountain near Springvale. He usually whiles his time away there when there's nothing else to do. Gotcha. Uh, aren't you coming with us, Yuma? No, he probably hates her. I'm afraid that wouldn't be very convenient for me. It'd be better if you two went alone. It also wouldn't be convenient for us. I don't think he'd be able to get a word in if he saw you. Which is sad. Ah, oh, yes. Please do remember to pick up the dish from Sarah. Hated by both her family and the city she was born in. I still have more recon to do in the wilderness. Well, until next time. Let's meet again. What an interesting bunch you are. <laughs> You'll do more than just seeing me. <laughs> I'm gonna make you do all my work for me. Mark my words, I will have my vengeance on the artifact. And uh, I will get you better artifacts and level them up as well. Here, the Gabratinus Fleischmith sauerkraut is ready to go. <laughs> be sure to eat it while it's hot, otherwise, the flavor will be spoiled. And by the way, don't worry too much when Eula says strange things. Okay, I'm She's glad actually you know. a very good person. Paimon's been meaning to ask. No one could stand the sight of Eula when she was trying to speak with the others in Mondstadt earlier. But she seemed to get along fine with you and Amber just now. What's up with that? The people of Mondstadt don't take kindly to anyone bearing the Lawrence name. They are unable to see past her family, therefore they don't actually see Eula for herself. So no matter what Eula tries to do, it's seen as a wrongdoing. It essentially strips the meaning of anything she tries to accomplish. How come you're able to see Eula differently then? Well, when she joined the Knights of Babonius, it caused quite an uproar. Many people signed a petition demanding that the Knights reverse their decision. Yowch. At the same time, numerous members of the Lawrence clan crowded the entrance of the Knights of Bavonia's headquarters, clamoring for Eula to give an explanation. Oh, so both sides were unhappy. That's right. So you can imagine how determined Eula must have been under such circumstances. But thanks to Grandmaster Varka and the unwavering attitudes of others in the Knights of Favonius, they were able to quell the unrest. Tensions still remain beneath the surface, I'm afraid. Yeah. In the eyes of the people, she's a stain on the Knights of Favonius. And in the eyes of the Lawrence clan, she's a disgrace to her family. Sag. But she simply fulfills her duty as a knight, silently helping one person after another, myself included. Okay, that's good. I was getting a bit worried because her voice line said other things. But again, I think Sarah's just a small portion of the Good Hunter restaurant as a whole. So, I, I don't know about the rest of the restaurant. It might just be Sarah. People like Eula should be approached with care and understanding. She could stand to be treated a little more fairly. If only there are more people like you. I believe a day will come when things will get better. Yeah. Once hopefully. everything's settled, we should go talk to you again. Paimon thinks we know how to communicate with her now. Hmm. What do we need to talk to her about? Shouldn't we deal with the uncle? I'm glad. I think that would make her very happy. Though she might not ever admit it. Take care. Please come again. Okay, where to? Where did we go? Okay, we are looking for Shubert first. Ugh, why you gotta be there, dude? So much teleporting, just as I suspected. But it's okay. It's Eula's story quest, after all. Oh, wait. I need... I need meat. I'm sorry, boar. But I have to do this. Okay. Me. Okay. Meat. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. More speed. More speed indeed, Eula. Is today the last day of wind trace? Uh. 
Oh. No. Or is that just the time remaining to get rewards? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Go, go. Is he staying here? He's staying here, dude? Again. I thought I had rid myself of you too. Magnanimous. Yes, indeed, that is true. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. Hmm, it appears I have misjudged you. Supreme brilliance. The glory of the nobility that continues to this day. A true loyalist. Mm, I don't like this. Impressive. My intentions were to test your humility. It appears you have become well versed in our etiquette. Oh, so he was testing us. Sheesh, what an ordeal. Your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, from whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? Mm. Ah, good. Very good. You are bright, and compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. Again, we don't really know anything about Lumine and Aether's... By the way, we brought a gift! <clears throat> background. Paimon means we would like to present you with a small token of our goodwill. <laughs> <gasps> Could this be? Gebratness Fleisch meets Sauerkraut? It's evident that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a dish. It's been so long since I dug into a big, tasty... I, I beg your pardon. What I mean to say is, since it's nearly mealtime, I shall partake. Have you been kicked out ah, of yes. your residence? This aroma. Just as I remember it. And this exquisite sour flavor. Mm. A delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. Mm. Sure, dude. Enjoy the stinky breath. Now even Paimon's starting to wonder what it tastes like. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. Wait, so you've come to know of this, too? It was meant to be a family secret. Hmm. Well, considering your meticulous etiquette, you must be a talent of unusual fortitude. I'm willing to place my full trust in you. That easily? Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself. To see some... Friends from a distant land. They have offered their assistance in restoring the Lawrence clan to its former glory. No, oh dear. So he trusts us solely based on your etiquette. We need to be careful. Well then, let's get going, shall we? You'll understand everything in due course. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Do you think his friends are the Fatui? Could be Things a possibility. Look, if the Fatui happen to recognize you, what should we do? Wear a mask. You know that mask from the the Lantern Festival? Yeah, that one. We should wear that. Oh, uh, More uh. speed. Where are we going? Where? Here? 
Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Well, I kind of want to test out the the Eula that they're giving to me. So chivalry will never die. I'll just stick with this team. <sighs> chivalry will never die. And apparently, for the Lawrence clan, aristocracy will never uh, die. Ah, yes! Exactly! That's exactly what I wanted! Oh, even if they are powerful, our status is much higher than theirs in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see! <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Paimon, why don't you wear a mask too? They might recognize you. But they might recognize you from the fact that you're floating. Let's proceed, and shall small. we? I'll introduce you as my guest. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can, as can... you'll see in a moment, there are many already helping us. Okay. I heard that this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. I want to see this. What is Although this? it has fallen into oh. disrepair and Nothing. does not suit the tastes of the nobility, we simply have to make due for now. Yo. Uh, sorry. Um, can we walk any faster? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. Moving hurriedly is unacceptable. Y'all don't even do a little bit of cleaning? Okay. If I were you, I would not want all those spider webs just chilling there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Big deer thing. Not missing anything, am I? Ugh. Please tell me we're not gonna run into spiders. As expected, it's the Fatui. As expected. Uh, d because we always see them around the city. Um, they must be very powerful. <laughs> Huh. Nothing more than foreign ruffians with power and the ability to flaunt it. But they are favorable business partners. <laughs> you like my walking, sir? Surely this walk is the most noble of all. <laughs> Hold it right there! Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. I don't like your mustache, sir. It looks funny. <laughs> it looks so funny with like... <laughs> it's like your mask has legs. <laughs> Like really tiny legs. No, it's like little feet. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. I like your mustache. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way. No need to sound all high and mighty like that. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. You may proceed. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> I shall proceed. With Tommy. Can I talk to these guys? You. Ooh, chest. Of course, that is the benefit of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire you offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. We could determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. <laughs> and such glory will return to me again before long. Oh, 
preparations have been thorough, but I still can't shake this uneasy feeling. You mean my knife up against your neck, sir? Mm -hmm. Chest. Anywhere, chest. 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 Hello, Who are you? Who are you? Just because someone brought you here, don't think you can wander around. Okay. Boris. Don't wander about if you don't have business being here. Okay, Mr. Boris Johnson. Okay. Dollar, 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 anyway. Come on, I can't get it again. Eh, please. Chest, chest, chest. Chest? Chest? Why am I only walking? Chest? Schubert? Schubert. Ah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. The best style of walking. Only true aristocrats know this graceful manner of movement. Where have I seen this person before? Where have I seen you before? Why does the name Sir Sergey, Sir 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 Sergey, Sir Sergey? Uh, is it? I don't know. Sir Sergey, Sir Sergey, Sir. Do I look like I know Russian? No, I don't. Okay, bye. And who, may I ask, is this? We mustn't bring just anyone in here. My name is Lumine. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. It's a pleasure to meet our you. Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. I will do nothing with the information that will greatly cause... Destruction to all. <laughs> Furthermore, there's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius has been very active in Mondstadt recently. Not me. You might be thinking about my brother. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the nobility. I must treat them with the proper mutual respect. It's a good thing he kind of dance. The Knights of Favonius pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. Not at all, sir. Not at all. And what about this thing? It's my pet. Uh, you mean timing? Enough! You dare question my word? Emergency Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt possible? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. Dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. Bow You've down offended before their me, honor. fool. And give, bequeath your most humble apologies. Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? No, no. Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Huh. <laughs> Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? What is the shape of your mask supposed to be, sir? What is the shape of your beard supposed to be? Excuse me. I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, huh, I see. Crude, 
but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Eek. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Aren't you aiming a bit too high, my dude? Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. Uh, the Fatui definitely won't let you get away with doing that. They clearly want to use you for their own good. They're, they're using you, sir. You're not going to get anything out of this agreement. They're going to basically murder you all. Or just basically lock you away into places that you won't be able to do anything. It's quite obvious, really. Because the Fatui have more power than the Lawrence clan does at the moment. You all assume that you do, but you really don't. We so the outcome is quite obvious. Provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be diplomatic consequences, you know. Don't worry, this matter is only between you and I. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. <laughs> evil laugh, evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. May I remind you once again that we mustn't act rashly. That is all for now. Should have brought Klee with me, stuck her in my bag, bring her out now and bomb this whole place. Very well. Blow it to smithereens. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, why are we doing this? Why are... Why now? Why is it... <laughs> Why... This is giving me stress. I don't like it. No. That's right! It's the honorary knight and their trusty companion, Paimon! We're here to crush your evil schemes into dust! Dust! <laughs> I don't like this. So this was all just a ploy to deceive me! My condolences, sir. Can I get all your loot, please? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Mm -hmm, yeah. Huh. We'll see about that! We'll push y'all in the fire. <laughs> My bad, I won't, I won't mergulate you. Just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter, we already have the intel we need. Get them! Oh wait, these are the pyro dudes. Oh wait, is Yula even gonna come? <laughs> Where is this going? Where is this going? Why am I not hitting you? I slipped up. I'm too You're flustered. So I'm too go. flustered. What is this do? What does this go? I'm curious. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We're way behind schedule. Where does this go? Oh wait, I can't go this way? <laughs> Where's the loot? Where's the beautiful loot? Is there really nothing? Is there really nothing? Please, I just want... I just want stuff. Is that too much to ask for? Uh, 
Oops. Ah, you. Don't touch me. Get out of my way. I'll leave on my own. Will you? It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. Aha! I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. You will rue it's the all day. for naught now. Rue it. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you were well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonius, I cannot overlook your actions. Knight of Favonius? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. She is. By making them good people, not evil, my dude. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here, and leave with me. Then I shall plead with the family to spare you, and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan <laughs> flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. <laughs> that handshake. <laughs> Funny. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Yeah, you tell him. Why, you... You unruly maid! Don't touch her. Don't touch her. If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Yeah, you tell him. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? You tell him. Y you dare lecture me? That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. Yeah, you tell him. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Tell him. <sighs> oh, the disgrace of it all. How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? Then what are you? What are you? Huh. Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. The honorary knight and I have other matters to attend to. Destroy everything. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence? Hyman took a peek at their diagram. Your uncle had mapped out all of the night's patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. <sighs> and there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. Gotcha. Let's go. Oh, yep. Cool. What'd they put on her? Oh, dang. Someday, someday my Eula will achieve these numbers. But not with this. Oh my god, look at the base attack. Jeez. But I have a higher physical damage bonus. But I don't... I don't know what this really... I don't even want to read that. That looks so long. Oh, what artifacts did they put on her? Noblesse Oblige? Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense, but like... Hmm. 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 
Okay. Gave her three constellations as well. Ta Ooh. Those are some fat talent numbers. Someday. Someday. <laughs> I'll achieve those numbers to too. Favonia's blade work? <laughs> At some right, point then. I will. I'll teach you. Oh yes. I'll, I'll teach, teach you all right. Mark, Mark my words. words. Let's go. Let's go. Go 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 go. Okay. Okay. Where are we going? Where's the treasure? I want the treasure. Where's the treasure? Where is the trigger? Where is it? Oh, hello, Fatus. Fatus. Hello, Fatus. <laughs> hello, Fatus. Hello, Fatus. <laughs> you still can't get over that name. Fatus. The plural. Fatus. Fatus. Crush. Fatus. Where? Hello, sir. Where? Oh, there. Shut up. Fatus. Fatus. Rack and ruin. Fatus. Okay. Treasure. 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 Where treasure? Treasure. 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 Mm. No more. Uh, 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 no, let me out. Okay. Treasure, 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 treasure. I need more. I'm almost adventure rank 56, please. Oh, hello, Fatus. Hello. Gather. I am here to bonk you guys. Thanks for mercy. Yeah, beg for mercy. Hello? Who is protect- Oh. Freeze to the core! This. Beg for mercy. That didn't get anyone. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. Uh, I wanted to see what chunky numbers a nice beefy beefy mule could do. Shut up. What did we? Oh, that's what I hit. Okay. Bonk, 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 bonk. Mmm, nice, thick, juicy damage. Mmm, oh. uh, uh. uh. of frost. Beg for mercy. Who am I hitting? That's, that's not doing anything. Okay, do the chonky numbers. Wait, did it already do something? Did it? Oh, hello, sir. <sighs> Don't you know it's rude to do that? Crush! Yeah! Fake for mercy. Okay, is there treasure here? There's bound to be treasure here. Please. I. I please? Please? Where, where am I? Where am I? Treasure there? I don't know. To check everything out. Treasure? 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 No, no. No treasure. What about over here? Treasure here? Yeah. Oh. Treasure? No. Eh. Eh. 
Treasure? 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 Hello? Why is this area so big? Treasure? Treasure? No. Not treasure. Treasure? No. Treasure? 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 No. I just want stuff. Please. More speed. Really? Okay, so a room this big and there's nothing. Eh. Time to scout. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If I miss something, I'm gonna be kind of upset with myself. Really? Nothing? Nothing? Please, tell me. There's something. There's gotta be something, right? <laughs> Stop doing that. Pressing the wrong buttons all the time. Okay, fine. Well. Crush! Wait, where? Hello? Oh, okay. Really? Nothing? Okay. Wait, am I gonna get smushed? Right. Hello? Elevator? Don't forget. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay. Hello? That's what they put the diagram! Really? No, no treasure. on my quest for treasure. This must be it. Don't you know that's rude? They may very well have already made a copy of it. But without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. You sure? The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True. But if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. You sure about that? Their opposition that? wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Oh well, yeah! You suddenly appeared at just the right moment! Yeah, about that. You were following us the whole time. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier. Oh, did you exact your vengeance on us? I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. Finally! After all this time, oh, no. I didn't understand I'm what you're saying! Baby. In reality, you sense that something might happen to Come us on. during shh, our shh, investigation. Shh. She'll have more vengeance and grievances against us. You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look. My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Please, remember it well. Hey! Too bright. You have seated a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. I will. Please. Hit me with your worst. Please do. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Please, never forget me. Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Bye-bye. Sure. Well, see you around. That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. Why don't we both do 
why don't we both work together? Was it really only two chests? Couldn't possibly only be two chests. Please tell me there's more. Ah, yes. <laughs> primo gems, primo gems. Yes, please, more. I need them after spending them all on Eula. Okay, nothing else. Disappointing, but it's okay. Okay, well, I guess that, that was it, huh? Unless there's a bit more. Is there more? I would like to see more. I wouldn't mind if there's more. I'd like to talk to Eula a bit more. Because I am, I am definitely a certified Eula shrimp now. Do not doubt my powers. Do not doubt my powers. <laughs> I could have pulled Kazuha, but instead, I'm choosing Eula. I might just break down and spend money for Kazuha, though. <laughs> But we don't talk about that. Was that it? Was that it? Was that the whole thing? The whole- yep, I guess it was. Well, that was actually not as dark as the story quests have- or character story quests have been going so far. And I honestly think that was a nice break from such heavy topics for the past few ones. Granted, there were some more dark themes in this chapter. I honestly feel like it was- more of a comedy relief than anything because Eula, she's funny. She's cute. Anyway. I enjoyed the story. That was fun. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it. Zhongli out! <laughs>